Welcome to the playroom. Nice to see all of you again. This week we will talk about our body. Do you know what are included in five body senses? If you don't, let's look at the picture cards the children are holding. Let me give you some hints. Great, you guessed it. We have five human body senses. They are sight, hearing, touch, taste, and smell. In today's story, you can see these senses and what are they for. Today, we will read a book called Inside Your Outside, all about the human body. Like before, please pay good attention as I will ask you some questions about the story detail. I'm the cat in the head, here to share some good news from the tips of your hair to the toes in your shoes. Because we have more than one toes and shoes, so we put an S after it. Your body is moving. It never stops going. Right now, your heart's beating. Right now, your blood's flowing. You may be just sitting and reading a book, but your body is busy. Come on, take a look. Imagine if each time you walk down a street, you could look right inside of people you meet. You see hearts pumping blood. You see brains busy thinking, lungs breathing, bones moving, and eyes always blinking. When we have more than one of the body structures, we put S after it. There's one easy way you can see what I mean. Take a ride in my inside your outside machine. Every ticket is free. And before we are through, you will see inside me and inside of you too. Let's start at the top with your brain. It is key. It controls all you do, helps you laugh, learn, and see. It makes your legs move when you run, jump, or walk. It makes your face move when you blink, smile, and talk. It sends information to all parts of you and does millions of things no computer can do. Your brain never stops. It goes all day and night. Your brain has two sides. One is left, one is right. We have two legs, so we put an S after it. Meet the Falatins, who live in far off Faden. When we stand in the sun, you can see through their skin. It is easy to see when you look at a Falatin all of the bones that are known as skeleton. Bones shape our bodies and help us stand tall. We have 206, some are big, some are small. So we have more than one bone, so we put S after it. There are flat bones in your head, soft bones in your nose, curved bones in your ribs, short bones in your toes, one bone in your ear, these make us think twice. It's so small. It's the size of just one grain of rice. Let's make a guess. What do you think of your bones? Are they soft or strong? Can our bones return normal if they break? Let's see the answer. Bones in your body are stronger than steel, but when a bone breaks, it is able to heal. There are bones down your back that are all in the line. They help you stand up and are known as the spine. The spine has a spinal cord running inside it, a bundle of nerves which help move it and guard it. Nerves are like wires that run inside you. They let your brain know everything that you do. Question time. How do we call bones that are on our back? Great, it's fine. You have five different senses, which help your brain tell what you hear, how things taste, what you see, touch and smell. Sniff a flower and pull sweet smells to your nose. Nerves goes to your brain and say, hey, there's a rose. Your sense of touch really tells you a lot. This kitten is soft. This pizza is hot. Out of five senses, which one do you think is the most important? Why? All right, 
So most of you think eyes are most important because they help you see. But what if we cannot see anything? If you could not see other senses like touch, taste and smell would work harder for you. When you move, muscles pull on your bones and help you turn your head, raise your hand, take a bite and then chew. Some muscles are joined to each other or skin. They help wiggle your ears, raise your eyebrows and green. It's time for a fun fact. We know muscles help us smile now. Do you think we need muscle when we frown? Okay, cool guessing. Let's make the question harder. We use more muscles to frown or smile. Cool guessing. Indeed, we use more when we frown than smile. Lungs help you breathe and they never can rest. They are like two balloons in each side of your chest. Every four seconds, you breathe in and out. Lungs bring in air, which you can't live without. Let's do a simple exercise together. Can you show me how do you breathe in? Inhale. And how do you breathe out? Exhale. Good job. Waste water is stored in your bladder, and then it soon flows back out of your body again. You need food and water. You use quite a bit of it. If some is left over, your body gets rid of it. We have come to the end of our ride. It is true, but there's still a lot you can learn about you. Way down deep inside of your body and mind. There's a lot going on every day, all the time. As you grow, you will know that your bones will get longer your lungs will get bigger, your muscles will grow stronger. Your brain and your heart will guide all that you do. Someone special is inside your outside. It's you. So our brain and hearts are important body structures of our body and other structures like bones, lungs and muscles will go bit by bit each day. And we are all special and unique. I'm very impressed that all of you engage so well in today's stories. And it's you did a brilliant job today. Thank you for joining our playroom. And we can't wait to see you all next time. Bye.